What's going on, everyone? I'm John, and this is Justin from Cinema 3D, and we're here to do a trailer reaction for Joker Dos. I don't think that's the actual title, but you get the idea. I pronounce the title either, so that's why it's Dos. <laughs> Uh, we wanted Sam to uh, accompany us uh, during this reaction, but he unfortunately couldn't make it. So we decided, all right, let's still do it because this is huge and we need to see this. We have not watched it yet, so I'm super, super excited. Uh, it's been it's been a, a, it's taken a while to to get it done, um, but I've, we've all seen uh some photos some leaked uh, on set photos and the whole idea of it trying to be like a musical and what better way to do a twisted mu musical than to have it be centered on harley quinn and joker so i'm super excited todd phillips is back joaquin phoenix is back lady gaga as harley quinn that's uh I honestly like yeah i mean margot robbie is great but uh I'm very curious to see how weird they're going to go with Lady Gaga. I know she's obviously a, an, an artist and definitely puts herself out there. So I'm sure she is going to be, she's going to be great. She was awesome in uh, Star is Born. Um, so very much looking forward to seeing what she can do. I know she has done horror and some edgier stuff too from her, her music. And even um, I think she was in, a, in a, a American Horror Story as well. So like she, she, I think she's gonna bring it as Harley Quinn, the def different spin. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, any anything, uh, anything you you want to say about it? No, I mean it's just it's the sequel that I know me and you and uh, Sam too uh, thought was not needed at all, especially after watching the first one in the theater. We were all floored by that movie, um, but you know, in Todd Phillips, I think we trust so. And Joaquin Phoenix said he wouldn't do a sequel unless the script was, you know, as good as the first one. So mm -hmm. that's why I think we're all still excited about this. So I say let's watch this freaking trailer and get it because it's been, been three or four days since it came out and we still haven't seen it yet. I right, know. All right, let's do it. Let's go, boys. It's so high. Right. Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? We use music to make us whole, to balance the fractures within ourselves. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Yeah. Wow. Bro. Hey. Last shot? Yeah. 
Wow. That that's uh that's phenomenal. Uh, yeah. I cannot wait for this. Yeah, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a crazy time. Uh, I feel like this. Just looking at the trailer and the shots, it you can definitely see that Joaquin and Lady Gaga are having a a ball doing this and just going crazy with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, I I think it's great. Uh, I, I mean, we it's it's just the visuals and kind of giving us an idea of what's happening, but. but at the same time, it's not giving us a full rundown of what's going on, which I think is a good thing. Um, you kind of dissect a lot of things that are happening in it. Uh, happening in it, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be even worse than the first film. Meaning, you don't know what's real and what's not real yeah. uh, until we ultimately ultimately see what happens at the very end. And then, still, it might be subjective, but it just we're looking at it through the eyes of two insane people. Mm -hmm. uh, one who becomes insane and one who is you know has is insane is in is in arkham or in the mental asylum so uh i'm super super excited it looks beautiful too holy crap yeah uh, it, it does look freaking stunning um that the the spotlight shot where it just fades in oh you know obviously with the lipstick turning into a smile that's just beautiful um mm -hmm. dancing like the match cuts all that stuff it felt this trip this teaser felt like a, a circus ride yeah i think that's how it's, that's how it's probably gonna be it's gonna be a weird circus ride yeah. it's just oh and it, it's got a lot of you know similarities from the first one just off the shots and what you know gaga looks like or harley looks like she's copying kind of what joker did in like a yeah cutesy manner and i think he's probably gonna love that so that's probably what kind of attracts him to her too. Right, right. Or neither of them, or she doesn't exist. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. And and on top of that too, if, if that's the case, then it's like, it's the it's the woman or the girl that apparently understands him as opposed to what he thought in his head with that one girl who was, who was, a, uh, who was one of the tenants uh, at his uh, apartment that he was at. And of, co of course, you know, that never... That wasn't even real and you know it was kind of creepy well now you have this one yeah uh, in this film it seems like he found possibly that soulmate mm -hmm. um whether or not it's gonna be toxic or not is kind of up to the bait if they will show some of that toxicity i'm not too sure because this is still joker when he's not necessarily joker as like right now so like i'm very curious to see how they're going to do that because joker and harley quinn's relationship has been known to be abusive so mental and physical so are we gonna see that or is it just gonna be like, like we you you guys know about that that's how it happens but let's so let's show the inevitability but like the beginning stages of that with inevitably going towards the abusive hardships psychological abuse and and, and physical abuse that happens mm -hmm. so i'm very curious to see how that's gonna go down uh, i love that uh that they bring back his his look from the first film um definitely have also that look where he's running away um in like a disheveled look and then you notice if somebody in that same the actual joker makeup and outfit so whether or not it's a copycat or if that's in his head or whatnot we don't know um knowing Todd phillips and and joaquin phoenix and just the overall production of this i'm sure it's in his head we're gonna get you know two different two different sides of, of him um, his, his real side is what he looks like there when he's running away, but uh, what he really wants to be is obviously the larger in life clown prince of crime. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I know that Harvey Dent's going to be in this too, so that's going to be interesting. I'm yeah. pretty sure they're going to go down that route of with Thomas Wayne where everybody that's in, in higher power is corrupt and this and that. You know, it's definitely a bold, going after like a bold statement. Um, but you know, it's, it's, this is what I love about this whole Elseworlds thing is that you're able to just do your own thing, your own spin, have a little bit of, have some Easter eggs here and there, but you know, kind of doing your own spin, which is, which is cool. Um, let's hope that, you know, we get the inevitable, uh, the inevitable Harley Quinn and Joker duo, uh, the, the mad love, if you will. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super excited. Cannot wait. 
Uh, I would be fine if this was the only trailer, but if we get another trailer, fine. But I feel like after, if I watch the second one, it's not kind of up to the band whether I will or not. If I do, then if we do, uh, then that'll probably be the last thing I watch until the release because I do kind of want to walk in there, like just walking in there, yeah. um, really and really being engulfed in this in this crazy circus ride. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they probably at least have one more full trailer and then probably another like spot because it is well like at least five six months out still and mm-hmm. i think the the first one had two or three trailers but the good thing about that was it still never really revealed stuff because when we watched in theaters we were all like what is happening here yeah exactly as long as they if they keep that type of marketing um uh like the first i'll be happy because i still walked in there like pleasantly surprised so that was great so as long as we do as long as we keep that that'll be awesome um but so far the marketing has been minimal but has been great i know it'll be ramping up as we get closer and closer to the official release date um but i'm hoping they do they continue that clever um marketing and just do it like that just wait you know entice people but don't show them everything i just watched a trailer recently from a book for a blumhouse film with uh james mcavoy it looks great but i saw the whole movie and one i saw the beginning middle end of the entire thing and i'm like oh wow that uh it just it just sucks with nowadays with trailers nowadays you have to show everything to get people to come in and that sucks um i look at you know old school trailers really knew what to do like the first alien trailer that thing is phenomenal. It's, it, go, it shows exactly what you need, but creeps you out. And it's like, oh, I got to watch this. And all the, I, there's a couple of the trailers that do that as well, as well. And I just like love that. Like it's a teaser for a, for, it's a teaser for a reason. It's to get you into the theater to put your butt on that seat and just be transported into an amazing two hour or so ride. Yeah. So that's amazing. <laughs> Joker 2, it's going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. Potential. I mean, unless I'm missing something, but has potential to be the best on screen live action DC relationship we've got to date. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as, yeah. Regardless. As far as, like all, mm-hmm. like everything. Yeah. I mean, I don't, uh, animated different story, but for right now, like live action, probably. Yeah. relationships have always been yeah yeah now even your best films they the relationships have just kind of like oh just let's just have a romance guy or girl whatever um but yeah no i agree but it's but i a the best romance with it being twisted a twisted romance yeah a carnival love if you will so it's it's a carnival carnival. love <laughs> yeah but, <laughs> but that's the uh trailer reaction for joker 2 uh coming coming very soon i I cannot wait um seems like it's been in production for so long but now we're gonna get it and i cannot wait for future things uh and hopefully stay away from spoilers and uh man i cannot wait for opening night imax baby we're gonna go see this in imax oh yeah we can't wait to do the full full full-blown uh uh, review as far and getting into spoilers and just really really going into this it's gonna be a good uh good year for dc so amen yeah but that's the uh that's the trailer reaction for joker 2 uh look out for more uh uh, more look out for more videos for uh cinema 3d and yeah uh we'll see you at the movies